They had long packed to their bags and ready to get home before Christmas. So there is no transport to take them there. The shortage of public transport becomes acute during this time of the year as thousands travel out of the city for their holidays. However, during the rest of the year, many long-distance minibus taxis stand idle with no passengers. Most of these travelers to Rundi had been searching for transport since yesterday morning, but they were still stranded here the whole of today. When one in vehicle showed up, everyone wanted to register, but unfortunately only a few could be accommodated. We are here for yesterday. since yesterday. We didn't get transport. So we are still waiting for transport. Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe uh, the transport uh, uh, department can, can, can also hear us. This is also the time when many bus taxi travelers work overtime for extra cash, but amid a lot of complaints from the travelers over overcharging. Even immediately when the transport or the company will arrive, they, immediately people are just coming for it. And even everything, is, according to the price, also they are charging you, is getting away. It's more than they used to charge every time. Some of the assets multiply by two. The, the, um, some they are multiplied by three. The prices that is supposed to, to, to go to, to Katima, then they, they can make them three or them four. The situation was almost similar at the Monte Cristo loading zone. Although there were a few buses, they were outnumbered by the travelers, some of whom slept there. But according to a loading master of the Indonesia Bus and Taxi Association, after Johannes Ipinge, the situation was much better today. There is no enough room. The bus is few, but they are coming and when they come one by one, one by one, it's people are suffering. Other than Sky also threatens to open up with downpours, the travelers said they had no choice but to brace for it, come hell or high water.